Hi, my name is JP Hong from Asan Medical Center, Seoul, Korea. Today I'd like to talk to you about stem cells, especially adipose-derived stem cells, which are stem cells derived from the fat. In this article from Dr. Lynch from Kentucky, he reviews the overall aspect of stem cell derived from the fat and how the adipose-derived stem cell is used clinically today. Now, unlike the embryonic stem cells, these adipose-derived stem cells are derived from the adult fat in your fat, for example. And it could be harvested in multiple ways, as a block or through liposuction. And most of the times it's shown that liposuction actually has a better yield for stem cells. And this is why plastic surgeons are apt to harvest and utilize the fat. And this is why plastic surgeons are interested in the field of adipose-derived stem cells. And as Dr. Lynch shows in his paper, adipose-derived stem cells are able to differentiate into various other cell types. For example, muscle cells, bone cells, nerve cells, or even into fat cells. And by adding the adipose-derived stem cells into the existing tissue, it's able to allow better proliferation, uh, better take, and overall uh, better results. By adding the adipose-derived stem cells into the fat, it allows the fat to survive better and longer. And by adding into the bone, it allows better bone healing, avoiding secondary procedures. And the same thing could be said for chronic wounds as well. Now we're living in exciting times, and now preliminary results are showing that stem cell derived from fat may be of use in arthritis, ischemic heart disease, and even in Crohn's disease. So I hope you understand what the stem cell means for the future and how the stem cells from fat may help you in fighting these chronic disease. And I'd like to thank Dr. Lynch and his team for the wonderful contribution and hope that this is able to help you understand um, the potential use of stem cells in the medical field. So with that, thank you.